ご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。Hey guys, Kakarot197 again. This time with an unboxing of the real great Gundam Exia from the Gundam 00 series. Provided to me by my favorite online hobby store, Hobbyling Japan. Links to buy your own war eliminating death machine down below. And of course, we're getting that typical real great box art. We have a really badass close up on the left side, and on the right side, we have the whole mobile suit. Of course, since this is a 00 machine running off a GN drive, we also have some GN particles flying around all across the box. So that is a cool touch for a 00 model kit. Then on the side, we of course get all of the selling points for a real grade the Master Grade esque inner frame, the massive amount of stickers, including some special ones for those GN power delivery things, and the box wastes no time telling us. About all of the gimmicks, the sliding armor, the detailing that this thing has. And on the other side, we get some really nice dynamic poses that this thing can pull off with no issues. So let's have a look at what we're getting inside. So, starting off with the A runner, and this immediately tells us what to expect of the rest of the kit. It's all nicely detailed, but not super detailed. But that feeling might also be because I unboxed the real great Zaku 2 five minutes ago. Anyways, another interesting thing here is that rather than the usual white pilot figure, We're actually getting a little blue Gundam figure. That's pretty cool. The B runner is, of course, the real great frame tailored for the Exia Gundam. We then get some extra inner frame and also some really cool looking green effect parts on the C1 runner, in addition to all of the GN blade effect parts that we need. On the C2 runner, then we get some really cool chrome parts. Unfortunately, there are a few nub marks that are still gonna shine through, but yeah, that's something that couldn't really have been prevented with these parts. Next up are the D1 and the D2 runners. And again, just as with the A runner, I'm gonna say it's all nicely detailed, not over detailed. And for the Exia, I think that's definitely a good thing, because Too much real great detail on the Exia Gundam,、mm, I don't think that would look quite as good as how it looks now. Next up are two kinda grayish E runners, because of course there is no real great without two toned colors. Also, the blue on the A runner、um, was also in two tones. Now, first of all, two V fins. Fantastic. A part as fragile as that is very much appreciated to get doubles of. And then finally, we get the F runner with some internal parts, some parts for the weapons, some other parts, and of course, fixed position hands. Now, as much as I love the movable real great hands, I feel that including both the movable hands and these fixed pose high grade style hands is the best. Because Then we have the choice which one we want to use. And then finally, the sticker sheet very much follows along with the detailing on the armor. We get a fair amount, but no overkill either. And then we also get these special stickers, which is something I've never ever seen before. And as far as I can remember, also the first time that they put them in this yellow bag, which normally is for springs or screws or stuff like that. But with those out of the way, let's have a look at the manual. We're getting some extra information on the Exia itself, Celestial Being. Then on the other side, we once again get a good view at all of the gimmicks that this real great has to offer us. Then a bit further, we get some information on the GN Drive, the very powerful system powering the Exia Gundam, 
in addition to all of the other Celestial being Gundams. Here we get an overview of the weapons that he comes with, the GN Sword, the GN Vulcans, the GN Beam Sabers, GN Beam Daggers, GN Shield, GN Long Blade, and GN, and GN Short Blade. And then finally on the back it is entirely dedicated to telling us where to place those stickers. Also, gotta love the detailing on these ones. So then, all that's left to do now is to go ahead and build this thing. Again, if you want to buy your own War Eradicating Gundam, links down below. And as always, a big thank you to the Patreon supporters. I hope everyone watching has a great day, and I'll see you all tomorrow with a review of this thing.